And my hope of hopes is you didn't eat too much for lunch. <laughs> uh, please stand. Oh, mutiny. <laughs> It's okay, it's all right. Now, this morning's lesson really focused on the pelvis, yes? Next segment, there'll be a lot of focus on pelvis. So once again, this is like pointing ahead. Uh, stay, uh, yeah, face the front of the room, face the screen. And could you please put your right hand on the floor somewhere in front of you? and come back up. Just that. Just do that several times. And we're not doing four points. Although I would like to see you hopping up and down on four points, but we won't do that. Yeah. Now, the next time your hand is down there, could you find a way to use that hand to lean on a little bit, but not so heavily that you couldn't swivel the palm a little bit left and a little bit right. Now, swiveling the palm is different to swiveling the fingers, yes? So swivel the palm and then swivel the fingers. Move the palm across the ground, swiveling it, and then swivel the fingers across the ground. And your butt is up in the air. Yeah, that's it. Good, come back up, right? That's enough. Now, let's try doing the similar thing, but now with your feet. You just swiveled your hand, and I said to you, you could, um, if that's the contact point, you can swivel the fingers, or you can swivel the heels. Yeah? So, with your right foot, could you swivel the heel right and left, using the forefoot as an axis? That's right. And could you just give a little bump to the ground on either side? So when you swivel it to the left, bump the ground. When you swivel it to the right, bump the ground. Bump, 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 bump. Right. Could you do them now with the other foot? Same thing. Bump, bump. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever you like with your hands. I don't mind. Yeah. All right. Now go back to the other foot, and could you swivel the forefoot? So now the heel becomes the axis, and you swivel the forefoot. And <laughs> hands on hands on hips. Well, you know, what do you want to copy? You know. Now the other foot. Yeah, you can do a little bump. You can do a little. Actually, it's uh, with the forefoot. It's more kind of a tap. Can you feel? It's tap, 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 tap. And the other foot. You know how, uh, anyway, I won't tell you. <laughs> Great. Now, could you swivel both heels left and right? So heels go left, right, left, right. And a little bump. Bump, 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 bump. Yep. And those of you who do skiing will recognize this. Yeah? Especially if you stick your tush backwards and imagine holding poles. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about the forefeet? Can you do the forefeet? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. If it was four points, you'd have four. But it ain't for that's it. Rest a little bit, please. Yeah. So you've swiveled on the hands, you've swiveled on the feet. So now you know that your contact with the ground doesn't have to be constant. You can actually move across the ground. And even if you're leaning on the hand, you could lean on the hand in such a way that it could move across the ground. This will be really important for the next part. Otherwise, uh, some of you might wrench your knees, and I don't want you to wrench your knees. Yeah? yeah? Put your right hand on the floor somewhere in front of you and have your bottom up in the air. And now in one go, do half a turn, sit on the floor and face the back of the room. Yep. In one go, sit on the floor, 
do half a turn and face the back of the room. And then come back up again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just do that several times. And this is a very fancy way of saying, could you please sit with your left leg crossed in front? Because notice which leg ends up in front. The left leg ends up crossed in front, doesn't it? Yeah. When you end up sitting on the floor, the left leg's in front. Double check that. Come back up again. Now, did you, can you feel why I asked you to swivel your feet? Try to do that and don't allow the feet to swivel, but please don't go to the ground and you'll feel that the knees just, yeah? Yeah, so. Now, put the left hand on the ground and now you'll notice that when you swivel to the floor, the right leg will end up in front without you actually having to think about it. Yeah. Well, it helps. Give me your hand. It goes around this way. That's it. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Now, go up and down several times. And could you please, within the shape, within the form of this lesson, find the easiest way for you to do this? And here's a suggestion. Don't have your chin a long way from your throat. Don't. Don't have your chin a long way from your throat. Oh. And notice, if you let the head have its weight and not come close to that damn chair so that you can bump into it, yeah? There we go. And to come up, you know what you do with your head? You take it down. So you take your head forward and down and let it come up. There we go. This is exactly what I did with you the other day. Remember when I told you I didn't? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 don't, don't keep going. Come back up. Come back up. Come back up. Please come back up. No, 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 yeah, yeah. The distance between your feet is too big. Yeah? Then you end up with your knees a long way apart, which makes it really hard. So there's just the right distance that if you play with, this will become okay. No, it's not that position. No, it's so 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 so. Therein lies the. Yeah? Sitting, facing back of room. Left leg crossed in front of right. Which hand do you need to have behind you to, to bring your pelvis up and around and stand facing the front of the room? Which hand? Which hand do you need to lean on to come back up? Yeah. 
Great. So are we in, all in agreement that it's the right hand or not? So could you now do a complete spin, do a complete spin so that you end up facing the back of the room again, but don't bring the pelvis high? There we go. There we go. There we go. Look, look, see, I told you that feet swiveling stuff had something to do with it. <laughs> now you have to think about it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's nice. Now, here's the answer to your question. Are you aware of all the bits and what they're doing? No, you're not. But learn it. So, yeah, yeah, but it's fun. Yeah. And you know, once you've got a taste of it, you can take it home and you can actually keep on exploring it until that pelvis can go around in that circle and it feels basically like a snap. It just goes and you're around. There we go. Off you go, Lockie. Look at that. Look at this. Just as look, look, look at the head. Look at the head. Look, it doesn't, it goes anywhere. Look at that. He just turns around his axis. Yeah. There we go. Anna, off you go. Keep going, Anna. That's good. Yeah. Are you doing that Australian thing of chopping down the poppies? <laughs> yes, yeah, so am I. But I'd rather look at him than not. Yeah. 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 So now, now that you've seen that, that's it. What did you just say again? If there's very little expenditure. In it. Um, so long, bye-bye, farewell. Bye-bye. No, don't be good. So now you've seen two different things that the pelvis can do. The pelvis can kind of just do like, a, I'll risk it, a little moonrise and a moonset. Moonrise, moonset. Or it could actually do a complete spiral like that kind of shape in the air and then back to the ground. That kind of shape in the air and then back to the ground as distinct from shoop, shoop. You see? Now you make the choice which one you want to do. Either all the way to standing or all the way around in that really tight small arc. Nice. And this is why we need each other. Yeah? You can look at someone and get the general schema of what's going on. You can get the schema, you can get the prototype, and then you go, I think I'd like to do that. And you can either have a conversation with the person or just sneak away by yourself, as I do, and work it out. And now, what you might have witnessed in this short little 15 minutes is how quickly, how quickly we can get hooked up in, I can do it, I can't do it. I'll never be able to do it. You can do it. Mm. All, yeah, how quickly we get hooked up in that grasping for, oh, I hate you. Yeah? Yeah, and how different that is to being engaged in a process of inquiry. Now, this will happen to you again 
and it'll happen to you again, and it'll happen to you again, and it'll happen to you 25 years later. But it might not, because you're not me and you're not Jenny, and, and you might, you might find a pathway through life that it really, you never get hooked up on that. And you know what? If you could do that, that'd be pretty cool. The world would be a better place not getting hooked up and just being in the process and inquiring. So that's my value system, but you might really like to be able to do that movement. So it's up to you. <laughs> All right. Why don't we have um, a short break, about 10 minutes. Yeah. And, um, and then we'll come back and do a reflective process.